First up, a 57-year-old special constable was crushed to death around 8.15 hours today after she fell off the pedicycle she was riding and landed in the part of a truck a short distance from the Le Penitence market. That is Don Boca, who was stationed at the special constabulary headquarters and attached to the small business bureau. Boko resided at Perseverance, Maikoni, East Coast Demerara. The police said video footage obtained shows Boko proceeding south on the eastern parapet of the Le Penitence Public Road, Georgetown, whilst a male pedal cyclist was proceeding in the opposite direction on the said eastern parapet. As the two cyclists were passing each other, Boko swerved west and lost control of her pedal cycle fell onto the eastern edge of the road where she came into contact with the left rear wheel of motor lorry GNN 5584 which was proceeding south on the said eastern side of the road. As a result, she sustained severe injuries to her head and other parts of her body. A doctor later pronounced her dead at the scene. The 26-year-old motor lorry driver, who is a resident of number 47 village, currently in Mobis, is presently in custody at the Ramvel police station assisting with investigations. A breathalyzer test conducted on him revealed zero micrograms of alcohol in his breath. The Guyana police force are probing a fatal accident which occurred at Masano Bagdam Main Access Road, Northwest District, Region 1 on Sunday. That is Steve Ashby. The 28-year-old man was the pillion rider on an ATV motorcycle driven by a Brazilian national called Alo. The police in a release to the media said inquiries disclosed that the driver of the said motorcycle was proceeding south along the Masano back down main access road northwest district when he lost control of the said motorcycle the motorcycle ran off the road hitting the western barranca and turned turtle causing the pillion rider to be pinned down the driver then fled the scene the man's body was picked up and escorted to the port kaituma district hospital where the body was seen and examined by a doctor on duty who pronounced him dead on arrival Planning an elegant or corporate event? Let the experts at Star Rentals equip you. Give your event that spectacular five-star experience it deserves with the options of transparent tents of various sizes, indoor and outdoor formal bars and cocktail tables with LED lights, stage, podium with lighting, portable AC units, generators, executive portable washrooms, outdoor light tower, and much more. Call today, 226-3020, online, www.starrentalsgy.com. Star Rentals, we got you covered. And as Health Minister Dr. Frank Anthony is calling on Guyanese to be socially responsible as the COVID-19 numbers continues its upward trend. It's important that people take the... the measures, um, we have seen quite a few people complying, but there are also people who have total disregard for these measures. Um, they don't wear any mask, they don't keep any distance, and they continue with this type of behavior. Once you behave like that, and you're in crowded areas, you are going to get infected. And unfortunately, if you had the infection before, Omicron can reinfect you. So even persons with infections before can get reinfected. So we'll see some of that happening as well. Um, so if we really want to prevent the disease from happening, then you have to take the precautions. If you're in an indoor environment, you have to make sure that the environment is ventilated. You have to ensure that it's not crowded and of course wear your mask constantly. A lot of people believe because they're with familiar people, their workmates and so forth, 
that they can take off their mask, but they cannot guarantee where those persons would have been and how those persons would have behaved wherever they would have been. So unless you're wearing your mask constantly, um, you are going to get infected. Guyana today recorded 425 cases in the last 24 hours. There are 6,359 active cases across the country, with Region 4 topping the list with 3,972. It depends on how many um, tests were done over the period. Generally, on the weekends, we tend to see less persons uh, coming in to get tested and therefore um, we'll see less cases. But during the week, we generally get a lot more people uh, coming in to be uh, tested and therefore uh, we'll see more, more cases as we test. So right now we have 92 people in hospitals across the country. Uh, 51 of those persons are currently at the Ocean View Hospital, with nine, eight of them being in the ICU. So we have seen um, persons in hospital in Saudi, West Demerara, uh, Linden, for example, um, and there are a few in New Amsterdam as well. The minister is urging Guyanese who would have gotten both doses of the vaccine to get the booster dose. All the studies have shown that people who take their boosters are better protected. And in some countries, they're now even talking about a fourth dose. But we are not there yet. We are just trying to make sure that people at least come back and get their third dose or their booster dose. Hey, looking for office furniture, stationery, electronics, janitorial supplies, or even dietary products? Okay, stop searching because we at Imperial Trading have all that and more. Check us out at 73 Section 8 Urban Street or give us a ring on 639-3785. And be sure to ask about our special discounts. Mm -hmm. Whatever you need, we got it. Because at Imperial Trading, we operate so you can operate. Grandson tear up. Good morning. Come please do something for Granny fast. Now I go, I want you to get some groceries for me from the market. Man, Granny, you could call Trace Delivery Service, you know? You know about the Trace Delivery Service that you never tell me? Look, just give me the number. The number is... Oh. All right. Granddaughter, you reach fast, man. Yes, you granny. Hook up. yes, granny. Yes, anything else? Everything up to fifteen thousand. How much come up to? Fifteen, including oh, the delivery. No. Well, I ain't ready. Gotta do nothing else. I just gotta go by NIS and do some running. But granny, we just do the toughy. You know, I gotta do sign behind your check and you we can do for your thing. You ain't gotta forget no COVID card or nothing. We doing everything for you. All right, hold on. I got you from a thing. Stay up where you're going. Step back. Step back. If you didn't go and buy it from me at the market, you want to see what I got in my bag. Good. Pay the fee. Grandson, grandson, my tail. The Drug Enforcement Agency, Kanu, is stepping up its fight against the illicit substance. And on Sunday, Kanu seized 202 pounds of cannabis valued at over 12 million Ghana dollars at Scottsburg Village Quarantine Babies. The Customs Anti Narcotics Unit, by way of release to the media, said several parcels of cannabis were discovered by ranks while combing the seawall area. One individual was also arrested who was in the vicinity of the parcels and is currently assisting with the investigations. 
For these and other stories, do visit us at our website at www.rdproductionsty.com.